Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. I'm doing pretty good. We're here at Atlanta Brickco walking around checking all the cool Lego stuff out. Uh, like our usual store tours on Friday, we'll be answering questions and trying to check out all the stuff you're interested in seeing. And it uh, looks like a bunch of our members are already here to join us. We got Grumpy J, Nexus to Zach, Morgan. I saw Geology Joe here earlier. Tegan, Geology Joe. Hey, yo, store tour. We're here. We made it. It's Friday. Hope everyone had a good week and is looking forward to the weekend. There's Flounder Collects. Good to see you. Oh, Morgan would like to see built Star Wars. We can go do that. T Valkyrie's here. Hey, Mark, says JoJo. Elves and friends. Oh, I like elves. We can go check that out, Lemur Bricks. But let's look at Star Wars for Morgan first. There's a good find. There's a Django Fett Slave 1 hiding right back there. $249.99 on that one. Not cheap, but very cool. $30 for the new. That's the um, Shin Hadi's fighter, right? It's a pretty cool ship. Got the Razor Crest 120 for a built one there. Got some older box Star Wars sets up there. $60 for the Naboo Swamp. I, I'm tempted by that. Tegan's here. AZ Dave's here. Drew is here. Ninjago. My girls love it. Oh, there you go. Ninjago. We can check out Ninjago. We'll have to get through Elves and Friends first, though. I saw on your handle that you got the first Lego castle. Um, we did. I don't know if we still have it or if it's being processed. We'll have to double check for you, Tegan. I can ask Daniel or Garrett or somebody who would know. Mark, are the architecture sets processed yet? Uh, several have been Nexus. We can, we can talk about a few of those. But um, I think we still have a lot more to go on that front. And there's still plenty of Star Wars ones that have yet to be inventoried, too. However... They have had pretty much all the pieces, like very few things missing. So it should be pretty good to go for those. Got the Freemaker Adventure ship there, 120. There's a nice B-Wing for 80. Got a troop transport. You got the old ghost and the old phantom right there. Got Yoda who has dropped his lightsaber. Uh-oh. Kylo Ren shuttle, Krennic shuttle. And there's another cool old certified set. $60 for the Naboo Starfighter, the original one. That is really cool looking. That old box art is just awesome. Brickmom VA is here. Hello, all. Good to see you, Brickmom VA. Let's see who else is here. Karen Matilda's just made it. Good to see you, Karen. Emmy on YouTube says Orlando's going to be getting more figs very soon. That is good news. I, I'm hoping that they're opening very soon because that would be even better news. Ooh, there's the shuttle. That's pretty cool. $49.99 on that one. Alternate Canada is here. Good to see you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Don't forget to hit the like button. If we get over 35 likes, I have to wear the dreaded Nexo armor. Yeah, plenty of built Star Wars. I tried to cover it on Instagram a while ago. Got most of them. Um, we'll be doing more soon. The opening is up to Joey. <laughs> oh, dear. Flounder. If that's the case, it'll be hashtag blame Joey forever. All right, let's go look at elves and friends really quick. And then we'll make our way over to Ninjago 2. So here's our friends section. Lots of friends figures. Some built friend sets down here. Got a couple tree houses, a couple stages, got a hot air balloon. Tons of the friends characters as well. We don't have the new ones out yet, although we have pretty much all the old ones. So I think we do have new figures in the back, but we're being still processing those. So it's a bit of work to get them all online and such. Got some more built sets up here, housing, stables. Got a few friend sets over here. Ooh, there's the Dolphin Cruiser. That's one of my favorites. We did a Joy of Building on those, and those are pretty fun. Lots of friends here. One exciting friend set that I own is the friend's employee gift from a few years back. That's pretty cool. 
We also have the new Lego Friends space sets up there now, too. They're just out of reach. Otherwise, I'd show you. That's about it for Friends, except for the Botanical Garden, of course. Beautiful set. Highly recommended. I have a couple copies of those, none of which have survived. <laughs> Elves is right here. Got a bunch of great elves figures and sets. I'd recommend the built ones. We still have a couple of built uh, elves sets, different scenes. They all have crystals and cool details. The dragons aren't too bad when they're built in box. They can be pretty expensive though. Very collectively priced. Forty dollars for that though. That's great. That's pretty cool. All right, let's move on to Ninjago. See what is going on in the land of Ninja Go. Here we are in the Ninjago section. Also, the Dreams and Monkey Kid section. A couple of those sets, too. Ooh, that's a new arrival. <laughs> Look at that. You got a, what looks like sealed Destiny's Bounty up here. That's pretty phenomenal. A couple of the newer Dragon's Rising sets. I know Joe is very excited about the Cole's Elemental Earth mech. That's actually a pretty big mech guy. Very beefy looking. The bad, uh, what's his name? Wolf Mask Warrior. Love his cool silver sword. Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. That's pretty cool, too. Got the little baby dragon. How cute. Ooh. Zane's Dragon Power Spinjitsu Race Car. <laughs> the name is a little much, but uh, it's pretty good. How much is the Dolphin Cruiser? That was a few minutes ago, Liam Bricks, but um, I'm guessing it's over 100 bucks. We can double check for you. Anyway, Monkey Kid down here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A couple new arrivals in the Monkey Kid department. We got the evil macaque mech which is very menacing looking. Got the Monkey King Warrior mech, which is just grand looking. Oh! One of my favorite Lego sets, the Bone Demon, has tons of glow-in-the-dark elements. Super cool set. I'm really glad I bought this. I think I paid full price for this back in the day when it came out. And uh, it's gone up a bit. It is now $200. I think it was originally in the 100 plus range. Yeah, I think it was like a 120 or so. Really cool set. Highly recommended. Uh, price in the Macaque Mac. We'll check on the new bricks. Uh, Two fifty on that one. That one's gone up quite a bit too. I shudder to think what the Monkey King Warrior Mac is costing now. Oh, one eighty. Not bad. One eighty. And that's a little bit more than it first retailed, but that's not as crazy as some Monkey Kid sets. Very cool. Yep, Ninjago looking good. Lots of the newer ones here. Some of the older ones sneaking in too. We'll mark it the Demon Dragon. We'll have to see. Um, well, I've gotten the Bone Demon set before. I used all the parts recently in a giant glow-in-the-dark spider build. That was pretty fun. Mark, is the Architecture Tokyo Skyline up for sale yet? I don't know on the Nexus. We'll go check with um, probably Daniel in the back and see what's accomplished in that um, collection. Yeah, Belt Ninjago, a couple things going on. You got some vehicles, like a jet plane, off-roader. You got some dragons sneaking in there, too. $60 Zane's Ice Dragon. That's pretty cool. Got the big Titan there for $49.99. So Ninjago's looking good. Tokyo is certified for $70 next to the There you go. That's a pretty good deal. All right, we looked at... Star Wars, Elves, and Friends. We looked at Ninjago. What else are we looking for now? There was another one we were checking here earlier. Do, 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 do. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. If anyone has any more requests, let me know in the comments now. Yeah, I don't see it. Anyway, we're going to keep moving around, though. Let's take a quick look at the city. City's looking good. Everyone's moving around having fun. The 
Christmas tree is still up from not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before that. The spring train is zooming around the tracks. Mario. We can look at Mario. I mean, that'd be fun. Oh, and Grumpy J wants to see Castle. We can do that. About three cool retired sets from ABC Online today. Middle of my day, so middle of the night for ABC. <laughs> there you go. Mark, do you need any more elves? Um, I'm pretty good right now, but I mean, I, I wouldn't say no to any more elves. I know you can always trade them in at the store, too. If you are needing to get rid of some. So. But we got Super Mario and Donkey Kong by extension. I love those palm tree pieces. I recently did a palm tree technique video and would have loved to have some of these to build with. How much is this set? 500 pieces, $60. Not terrible. Pretty good price. We've also got the Diddy Kong's minecart ride. Pretty cool. Lots of uh, Mario stuff happening. We also have a small castle here. It's mostly those larger panel pieces, though. <laughs> Still need a price in the Dolphin Bruiser. You're right, Limericks. We'll head over there in just a minute. Hi, do you have any 9-volt curve or straight tracks for sale? We sure do. We sure do. I have a few sets I want to let go of. Well, there you go, uh, Alabama. We've got them. we got a place for them right here at the store. You can trade them in. Get some store credit. That's what I would do. You got some straight tracks right here. You got some curve tracks. And you got some curves in the... Uh, uh, dark bluish gray as well. Those are a little harder to find. But those are also on our website. The website is linked in the description below, so you can find it there. Let's go check on um, Castle and Dolphin Cruiser prices. Let's go see how much the Dolphin Cruiser is going for these days. It's also worth noting that we get a lot of Dolphin Cruisers kind of a little bit as is, and those are for sale online too, under that distinction, that category. And those are pretty affordable. I think I got one for like 40. So 169 for a box one. That's pretty pretty collectible, but like not completely out of reach if you're really willing to invest in it, which I would recommend because it's a super cool set. Let's go look at the castle section here. Yeah, because he was like in the Excuse me, guys. I was like, hey, it's okay. Ooh, here's a new arrival for you guys. What the speed champion's looking like this week, we can check it out for you, Ty. We'll head over there next. Medieval Market Village. Kind of the the set to get if you are a Lego Castle fan. I remember as a kid, I was lucky enough to buy two of these. But man, it is a great set. Great figures, great pieces. The, set, uh, the buildings open up and close. It's just fantastic. Got some castle figures. Um, I think some of these were able to get restocked, but not all of them. We still need to restock more empty spaces. A couple of castle sets hanging out over here. I like that. Uh, prison cart's pretty cool. Got pirates and adventurers up here too. There's a eighty dollar built creator three in one castle here. Great parts pack. There you are. Lots of pirate sets hiding back there too. Medieval Market Village is four twenty, by the way. Yes, not cheap, but it is sealed in very, very good shape. So I can kind of see why the price is that. That perspective. Yep, castle looking pretty good. Let's go check out Speed Champions. Hey, Mark, I was wondering if you had a used medieval blacksmith shop. Ooh, that's a good request. I see one up there. Let's go make our way up there. It's kind of a lot of customers in that area, though, so we don't want to interrupt them. Let's see if we can. Move through here. Excuse everybody. Here we go. There's one here. Looks like it is 150. I see a tree back there, although it looks a little bit like it's been chopped down. There's also the cart that goes with it. 
Pretty cool. So that one's 150. I think it's 170 or 80 for the sealed in box version, which we should have as well. Excuse me, guys. A couple new arrivals. You got Bowser and the Saturn V. No Ed, no Ed today. Ed is usually not here during the week, during the day. He uh, has another job as a physical therapist, but he'll be here on the weekends all day long. That's when you see Ed. Here's the Speed Champion section. The Saturn V is such a good value for that set. That's such a nice display value. Yes. The Saturn V, I think, actually, we have a couple right here before we look at the Speed Champions. There's a couple just parked right here looking really cool. I also have the Space Shuttle right next to it. But you can see the height difference is staggering. So. Super cool. <laughs> Mark, you missed Grumpy Jay's comment. Go for some push-ups. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know the price on the giant orc ship? Ooh, I don't. Um, let me check on that for you, Grumpy. We'll have to go back and see. I think that's one of the more expensive castle sets, even in built condition. So. Speed Champions, looking about the same. Um, I don't see any new arrivals. But it could be wrong. We got a lot of racers and tiny turbos here too. Well, that might be new. Hold on. No, I think that was here last week too. Got some Chevy power here. Chevy horsepower. Got a little Ford Fiesta. And a bunch of I like the tiny turbos. Those were my jam growing up. I had a lot of those. Still do, actually, if I pieced them together. All right. Let's go see if we can get a price on that orc warship here. Scott Robinson, good to see you, Scott. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hey, Steven. How you doing today? Oh, hey. How's it going? There's Steven. Doing the store tour? We are doing the store tour. Actually, I have a question for Daniel. I might see if I can check it out. Daniel! Oh, there he is. Ooh. Hey, um, quick question. Um, we were looking for some architecture sets. Um, the Tokyo was out. Are the other ones being processed? Are there still some that are yet to be... There are. Are there specific ones you're looking for? Um, Tokyo is one of them, but I'm sure there are other ones that people are interested in. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we still got together. see a lot of Daniel emojis in the chat right now, so that's fun. So. Uh, I think this is most of what's left. I see White House, Roby House, Burj Khalifa, Sydney. Sydney is pretty cool. Ooh, some of these may be empty, though. Hmm. Here's the older Lego house. That's a cool one. That's cool. Sydney Opera House and a U.S. Capitol. I'm not seeing any Tokyo. I think here, Tokyo though. might have made its way out already. but They've already wrong. gone out. Yeah. I can check online and come find it and let you know. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Sure thing. Did Steven finish the V19 this morning? Uh, it sold. It sold, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm glad the chat's here, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't finish it for you guys. It's a cool play feature at the end, but uh, no, it sold. So we decided to just set part it down and send it off. It's it's gone. So yeah. I didn't ask who bought it. I don't know if it's from the chat. One but, of our regular uh, customers, they're not, I don't think they're involved in YouTube. Probably not a so, YouTube, yeah. YouTube yeah. follower, but yeah. But sorry, guys, I, I missed it for you. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. But, but no, it's, uh, I'm glad it's sold, so we're good. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let me check the price in the Orc Warship. And then Learbrick says, Mark, would you consider looking at built Nexo, knowing I just want the parts and will destroy them? Uh, Learbrick, I will, I will look at Nexo for you. You're, you're a, a regular commenter. You've asked very nicely. I think I can do that for you. Orc Warship price, 150 And it's not going to all be there. Most of it's there, two sales, the front. The cage in the center, so it's got a lot of detail, but it's a pretty cool set. One fifty on that. What, what's up? All right, here's the update, Mark. We do have one certified pre-owned Tokyo set. Gotcha. Box, so it should probably be over in the architecture set. Otherwise, I mean, I don't think it's one of the more expensive ones. But sometimes they're floating around up here. So sounds we'll good. Over in architecture, we should have one certified pre-owned. We'll circle back and check out architecture then. That's cool. 
Ah, the Roby House. That's a good one. It is Brick Mambier. We did a uh, Between the Studs not too long ago about architecture sets. And that is going to be pretty fun to watch. Um, what other... Did we, was I looking at a price for something? What was I doing now? Check the price of the boat. We can check architecture. I guess I'll look at that. Connor wants to see Lego City sets. We can do that too. Oh, and uh, next tonight. That's what I was looking for. I almost forgot. Mixer nights are a little forgettable sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, architecture. Looking pretty good. Willis Tower, that's kind of collectible. Very plain, but collectible. Lots of architecture in there. And we have a lot more over here than we used to. It's starting to stack up. Got things like Singapore and Berlin, London, Rockefeller Center. Shanghai is right here. That's pretty cool. There's Tokyo. That's pretty cool. Las Vegas. And there's two different versions of Las Vegas, depending on which hotel they include. There's the Guggenheim. I was talking to someone the other day. Imagine being named Guggenheim. That'd be a pretty long name to try and spell every time you write it down. Eiffel Tower. Big Ben. This is Daniel's least favorite architecture set. <laughs> Yeah, let's go check out uh, next tonight's before we get too cu caught up in architecture. You got a Fortrix over here. No figures, but it looks pretty complete. Uh, no crowbar marks or anything. $89.99 on that one. Got the worst next tonight set, in my opinion, the Winged Falcons Fighter Jet, whatever it's called. 30 bucks on that. It will fall apart if you even breathe on it. A couple other ones here. Oh, um, hey, you said there are two different versions of the Atlanta BrickCon Skyline. What is the distinction? I think it might have something to do with either the box or a tile that's included with it. The physical set itself is pretty much the same. And uh, I think it's just a, a little bit of exclusivity for the Atlanta BrickCon show. That's the only thing I can think of for you, Sean. But good to see you. Thanks for joining us. The Atlanta Skyline will be awesome. Yes, it looks really good. Daniel did an excellent job. And uh, it's one of those sets that they really could and should make, but they probably won't make. I haven't seen any. All right, sorry about that, folks. We went dip backstage for a minute. We should be back. The laptop decided to change settings without me. Oh, it's a oh, detective. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just taking a picture of you guys. Exactly. Photobombing us. All right. I think we're back. I think we're good to go. You caught me mid-conversation, though, so I'll have to go check out next night's a little more. So. Yeah, the computer decided to bump me to the back. StreamYard likes to play around with its settings sometimes without our... Uh, changing them. So. <laughs> Next, so dark. Yeah, that's what happens when you try and look at next night's. Things start to go awry. But yeah, next night's looking pretty good. Lots of good built sets, and pretty pretty affordable if they're built. If they're in box, they can be more pricey and collectible. But you know, that's kind of how it is. We do have a fair amount of next night sets right now too. You guys, have the Concord or the Persia in stock? Um, let's see. I don't think we have the Concord. And I don't know if we have the Peugeot either, but we can look around. <laughs> you were in the middle of telling us about a 90% off sale on all the sets. That's right, Gerald. You know, yeah, that definitely. No, they are 20% off, which isn't bad. But uh, maybe we, I think we've done up to 30 or more on some like Black Friday and stuff. So, Any Speed Racer sets? We had a few Speed Racer vehicles, but not too much. Blame Nexo. Yeah, that was Nexo Knight's fault, clearly. I mean, to me, I can't control whether or not this is the main stage camera from here. So, <laughs> yeah. Sonic sets. We have a few Sonic sets. We'll go look at those really quick. Um, let's see if we have any Speed Racer. There's a couple Speed Racer right down here. I'm pretty sure we do not have the classic Speed Racer car from the guy Speed Racer. These are like, what's his name? Cobra. Um, 
there's a couple of the bad guys, different different cars here. So I don't. I need to watch the Speed Racer movie though. Yep, we can uh, we can we can go a minute over time because of the 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 blackout. We can do that. What was I looking at? Sonic sets. That's right. We'll go look at Sonic. Can we please see Harry Potter? We can do that, Karen. Harry Potter's a, a staple. We have to check it out. So one of the fun sets we got recently was the Knuckles set. And he's going for the big green emerald, which I think was originally used in um, Disney princess sets as like a dress piece. But it's it's here now. Big Knuckles mech too. Pretty cool. You got Sonic and Eggman down here. Again over here on the uh, the Green Hill Zone. Pretty cool set. Lots of little details and fun stuff. You got a, a huge loop for Sonic to roll up and down. It's pretty awesome. How much is the Axel's Rolling Arsenal? One of the few Nexus sets I never got. We can check on that really quick. Then we'll head over to look at Harry Potter. It's also in the back row over here. The Rolling Arsenal, which is like a big tank for Axel. He can just barely fit inside of it, poor guy. That is 120 for sealed. It's a pretty nice set. It has some pretty cool figures. For Nexo Knights, of course. <laughs> Hopefully looking at Nexo Knights again doesn't cause another blackout for the screen. So. All right, we're at the Harry Potter section over here. Cafe Corner or Green Grocer in stock? No Cafe Corner. I don't think we have any Green Grocer either. I'll double check, though. Monty Raj is here. Good to see you, Monty Raj. Uh-oh, I see a lot of Nexo emojis dropping in the chat. That might mean we're over the like threshold. We'll go look at that as soon as we finish looking at Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm definitely stalling Nexus. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, plenty of Harry Potter sets. Lots of good ones. I do like the chess set in particular. He's refusing the armor. No, I, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it, Grumpy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Lots of good Harry Potter sets. Great figures. Even some custom accessories here, too. Lots of good build sets. There's a bunch of um, Harry Potter sets coming out soon that will be really cool to see. I hope we get a couple of them in the store. And I know we will at some point. All right. All I see is next to night emojis, so we're going to go over <laughs> and get the next to armor on for everybody. How much is the inst instant flight to Noonan? <laughs> How much is an instant flight to Noonan? I don't think they do that yet, Lever Bricks, but hopefully one day we get a high-speed rail or something, but we'll see. All right. So armor going on. Hmm. Protected from all magical attacks. And people trying to strike up a conversation because I look crazy. And Peppa Pig coming out this year in Duplo. Deacon, why'd you have to remind me? <laughs> Peppa Pig, uh, Daniel, is Peppa Pig going to be a day one purchase for you? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. That's good. You gotta have something to start a fire. <laughs> Lego actually burns like a lit candle. It's great. So. Well, it's one of the only uh, waste cakes Lego seems to be producing right now. So it's gonna be the new yeah, exactly. Fabrics, fire starter. Yeah, Star good. Wars fans get mad. Yeah, that's actually infuriating for Star Wars fans if you think about it. So. Sorry, Deegan. Yeah, I, I'm sure there are a lot of Peppa Pig fans out there, but we're we're not one of any of them, because uh, yeah, no, I I think I missed the the train on Peppa Pig. It came out a little bit late for me. I was already well into my teenage years and twenties when it came out. I think so. Daniel buys Minions Four on day one before he buys Peppa Pig. Yeah, that too. Daniel's got a lot to collect these days. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just going to crack open, yeah, pop them, pop them, and put them online and say, perfect. How much is that beautiful sealed Silent Mary? We can check on that, Flounder. I know you like those Pirates of the Caribbean. These ones are... Of the Caribbean. Caribbean. That is going to be 520. Wow, 520. I remember when this came out. It was not 520. It's gone up a little bit. <laughs> those sharks are super valuable. The skeletal zombie sharks. Very cool looking. 
Lego doesn't go for zombies that often, so that's fun to see. Modulars. We have one modular that's boxed. I don't think we have... Oh, yeah. Daniel, we don't have a green grocer or cafe corner in stock, do we? I don't believe so. I'd be kind of surprised if we did. So. While Daniel's checking that, we'll go look at the one we do have in stock over here. Besides the Big Ben and the Mersk ship, which is very nice, we have... I think this is Grumpy Jay's favorite modular. This is the detective's office. There's some great figures, great scenes and stories. This is one of the modulars that's aged really, really, really well. Um, this is some of the old modulars. Don't look quite as cool anymore years later, but this one does. And that's going to be $5.89. $5.89 for that really cool set. <laughs> All right, we're a minute over, but we'll see what Daniel has to say. Anything there, Daniel? Uh, no, we don't have any bearing the project. Sounds good. Thanks, Daniel. All right. Well, we we got a little bit of overtime to cover for the blackout, but we're back, and we'll be back again next week with a bunch of streams and hauls and a bunch of great stuff. So don't forget to tune in on all that. We got some between the studs coming out this weekend. Lots of TikToks happening. Ella's been helping us with our TikToks, and they're really funny and good. <laughs> I don't know the TikTok, so I don't do them. But all righty, everyone have a great rest of your weekend. Um, stay safe, have fun, build lots of Lego. We'll see you then. Bye bye.